rarest animals still on Earth. Hey everyone, it's Alexa and welcome back to another video. You would be hard pressed to find an abundance of these animals still in the world. Many are on the brink of extinction, but perhaps if we learn more about these animals, they might have a chance of sticking around. Before we get into today's video, make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Pygmy Three-Toed Sloth The Pygmy Three-Toed Sloth is endemic to Isla Escuro de Veraguas, an island off the coast of Panama. They have sweet, dopey faces, but watch out for those hook-like claws. Sloths don't move too quickly, so their nails serve as their only means of defense. Fortunately, most sloths do not attack humans, but still, be wary. The IUCN considers this three-toed sloth critically endangered, with only 79 left. Angel Shark the angel shark's scientific name is Squatina squatina. It is native to the coastal waters of the northeastern region of the Atlantic Ocean near Norway and Sweden and down to the Canary Islands. They used to be found all over Western Europe, but their numbers have significantly dwindled over the years. This critically endangered species is having a rough time holding on, but conservation efforts have been made to ensure breeding. In 2010, the EU made it illegal to keep angel sharks that are accidentally caught. Pangolin Scaly anteaters, better known as pangolins, live in Africa and Asia. Their keratin scales cover their skin. The scales serve to protect, yet pangolins are endangered because poachers seek out their scales and meat. Poaching, along with massive deforestation, has contributed significantly to their lower population. They are the most trafficked mammal in the world, with four of eight pangolin species considered vulnerable, while two are endangered. The last two species are listed as critically endangered. Elephant Shrew This small, quadrupedal mammal has a scaly tail that measures between 3 and 11 inches long. The elephant shrew appears distinct with its long snout, hence its name. These insectivorous mammals are endemic to Africa and sometimes are called jumping shrews or sangis. Before, scientists used to classify them as similar to hedgehogs and other shrews. However, new molecular evidence shows that sangis are more akin to golden moles and other ungulates like aardvarks and elephants. Goody Tarantula At first sight, the sight of a giant blue spider may make you jump out of your skin, but upon closer inspection, you have to admit that the Goody Tarantula looks really cool. Its scientific name is P. Silotheria metallica, which sounds super hardcore. The Goody Tarantula is from the deciduous forests of Andhra Pradesh in southern India. No human has ever died from a puncture from Goody Tarantula fangs. However, doctors do believe that its bite is quote-unquote medically significant. Though the tarantula has venom, most of their bites are dry bites, meaning no venom is injected. Araripe mannequin Native to the Araripe uplands of Brazil, this small bird was first discovered in 1996 and then formally described in 1998. Even though those days weren't too long ago, the Araripe is already a critically endangered animal. In 2000, there were only 50 individuals. At one point in time, experts thought that it might be up to 250. In 2008, there appeared to be at least 500 pairs. Those are still low numbers. Since then, Sir David Attenborough announced he would be heading the fundraiser to help protect one of the rarest birds in the world. Spoon-billed sandpiper. This small bird wades in the waters of eastern Russia and then in Southeast Asia during the winter. The spoon-billed piper has a spatulate bill and grows to 5.5 to 6 inches tall. Since the 1970s, their population has decreased by 3 to 5 times compared to previous years. In 2000, the breeding population only consisted of 3 to 500 individuals. Seneca white deer. This deer looks like you're looking at a mythical beast from a fairy tale book, but the Seneca white deer does exist. This rare herd of deer lives in what used to be the Seneca Army Depot in New York. The depot was built in 1941. For a long time, they were confined to this 24 mile area, which accounts for their scarcity across any other environment. Borneo pygmy elephant. This subspecies of Asian elephant is the smallest elephant in the world. Look at how cute they are. Borneo pygmy elephants only grow to be 8.2 to 9 feet tall, which is tiny for an elephant. They reside primarily in Borneo and Malaysia, though their origin is up for debate. Scientists aren't sure if they are indigenous to the area or if they descended from captive elephants that belonged to the Sultan of Sulu in 1750. 
Greater Bamboo Lemur The Greater Bamboo Lemur is the most critically endangered primate in the world. For a long time, scientists thought the Greater Bamboo Lemur was extinct, though they rediscovered a small population in 1986. Since then, conservation efforts to save this primate have gone full force. Now there are about 500 individuals in 11 sub-populations. What has contributed in their endangerment? Bamboo logging, slash and burn farming, and mining activity in Madagascar are to blame. Vaquita. From the surface of the water, you might think you're staring at a shark or a dolphin. In this case, it's neither. This is the vaquita, which means little cow in Spanish. It is a species of porpoise native to the Gulf of California. Adults grow from three to four feet, making them much smaller than most dolphins or sharks. This species is close to extinction with an estimated 12 to 14 vaquita left as of 2018. Bald Ibis The bald ibis stays close to rocky habitats that have running water. They measure 28 to 21 inches tall. They look a bit like plague doctors with their long beaks and dark plumage. They used to be found very widespread throughout the Middle East, Central Europe, and Northern Africa. Their line goes as far back as 1.8 million years. But sometime 300 years ago, they disappeared from Europe entirely. Now there are only 500 wild bald ibises in southern Morocco and 10 in Syria. Amur leopard. There are only 70 Amur leopards left in the wild, putting them on the IUCN red list status of critically endangered. Over a decade ago, only 19 to 26 of them still existed, which once categorized them as the rarest cat on earth. Their fur is thicker than most wild cats and longer and denser compared to other leopards. You need a thick coat if you live in cold climates. As of now, Amur leopards inhabit an area of 2,700 square miles between Russia, China, and North Korea. Hainan gibbon. This species of gibbon can only be found on the island of Hainan, China. They eat mostly sweet, sugar-rich fruit like figs, but they also feed on insects and leaves. Male gibbons are entirely black, save for white skin on their cheeks. Females, on the other hand, are golden with black patches. When it comes to mating season, males and females sing duets as a bonding experience. As with most of the animals on this list, their populations aren't that big. Because of their breeding characteristics, their groups do not see substantial growth, only giving birth to offspring every two years. Greater Funnel-Eared Bat the greater funnel-eared bat is known for its large ears that resemble, you guessed it, funnels. They also have very short arms and black hairs over their upper lips, which makes them look like they have mustaches. They are endemic to the cave in the Isle of the Pines in Cuba. Habitat loss through erosion has become apparent, threatening the only home that these bats have. The roof is slowly collapsing, which may upset the thermal balance in the cave, causing it to become too cold inside. Hector's dolphin. These dolphins measure four and a half feet on average, the smallest of the group that includes mammals like whales, narwhals, and dolphins. Hector's dolphins live in the waters near New Zealand's South Island. They have occasional sightings near Fjordland as well. Hector's dolphins are named after Sir James Hector, who lived between 1834 to 1907 and was the curator of the Colonial Museum in Wellington. Hirola. There are countless attempts to save the population of Hirolas that remain. What do we know about this rare antelope? They inhabit the land between Kenya and Somalia, which matches their preference for arid climates. These antelope are the only extant member of their genus. Hirolas are medium-sized with a tawny coat and a white tail. Their antlers stand high and pointed. Though they live in herds, when a female Hirola is pregnant, they like to separate from the rest of their kin for two months and give birth alone. Plowshare tortoise. The plowshare tortoise, or Angonoka, is unlike any other shelled creature you've ever seen. Its golden shell sets it apart from its close relatives with growth rings apparent on each scute on its carapace. You'll find this tortoise in Madagascar, though there aren't many to find anymore. The plowshare measures 16 inches and weighs 23 pounds at most. Ocean sunfish. The ocean sunfish, commonly referred to as the mola mola, is the heaviest bony fish that scientists know of. They weigh between 545 pounds to 2,200 pounds and are as tall as they are long because of their elongated dorsal and ventral fins. Many people pride themselves on catching one of these fish from the ocean. In places like Korea, Taiwan, and China, the mola mola is a delicacy. Even with all the interest in catching this fish, the EU has banned the sale of the mola mola. 
Rollaway monkey. This monkey became an endangered species due to both habitat loss and its continued hunting. Over the decades, their population has declined rapidly, the rate falling as much as 50 to 80 percent. If you sneak around the eastern part of the Ivory Coast in the forest of Ghana, you might spot a rollaway monkey swinging around the trees. Most like to live in groups of up to 30 members. These groups generally consist of over 10 females, children, and just one male. Javan rhino. Just 61 Javan rhinos live in the Ujung Kulon National Park, located in Indonesia. The Javan rhino is the rarest large mammal left in the world. They used to have one of the largest populations of all the Asian rhinoceroses once upon a time. The decline of this mighty animal can be attributed to its highly sought after horns, leading to poaching. The horns are also a valuable ingredient in Eastern medicine. Loss of the habitat after the Vietnam War has also made it difficult for the population to bounce back. Before we reveal the top spot, we've got a question for you. Animals we know for sure are extinct are the dinosaurs. But if you could bring back just one dinosaur to live in the modern world, which one would it be? Let us know in the comments below. Giant Chinese Salamander The giant Chinese salamander originally only inhabited the Rocky Mountain streams and lakes in China. Later, they were introduced to Japan and Taiwan. This salamander is not just the biggest salamander ever, but also the largest living amphibian. Average lengths reach six feet, or at least they used to. Now most of them are smaller compared to previous decades. They are one of those few animals that scientists classify as a living fossil just because they've been around for so long. Pollution, overcollection, and habitat loss all contribute to the giant Chinese salamander's critically endangered status.